Earlier this year, I made the decision to jump into the world of DJing on multiple platforms. First, we had my tried and true way of using my laptop with Serato. I've been using it for over a decade and it has been my workhorse and I know it like the back of my hand. But this year, I wanted to become familiar with DJing on USB sticks using Pioneer Record Box. Now with that came one giant issue, which would be juggling multiple DJ libraries. Because of course, there isn't a universal DJ library currently that lets you move things from one software to another seamlessly. Today, we have to use third-party tools like DJ Conversion Utility, which I use regularly. You have things like Lexicon. And also, there was a newcomer that came last year named Mixo. And while I tried Mixo last year, there were some things about it that I really loved, especially the mobile app for your phone that lets you sync changes from your phone to your library on your computer or where, wherever you have your music stored. But I wasn't ready to make the jump from my tried and true method of using Serato, Rekordbox, and DJ Conversion Utility. Now, that process definitely has way more steps, but it's something that I knew, something that worked for me, and especially when it came to organizing my library into playlists or crates, Mixo was missing one feature in particular, and that had to be the smart playlist. Now, I love using smart playlists. Uh, I've been using them in Serato for as long as I've been using Serato and smart playlists have been available pretty much. Um, I use them in Rekordbox to sort different things and just have big massive crates to just scroll through. Um, and it's an integral part of my workflow. But just recently, Mixo has updated their software and included a pretty comprehensive smart playlist system, very comparable to how Serato DJ does their smart playlisting. So I'm pretty familiar with it. Now, why would I want to jump ship from the method that I use using three different softwares? Well, that has to break down to how Mixo works. You can dump your entire DJ library or however you want to do it into the software. You can make the playlist and it'll export to all the different DJ softwares that you use. Uh, for me, it would be Serato and Rekordbox. And they have a pretty good system of, you know, organizing your music and changing tags and everything. But what was missing for me to make the jump was a smart playlist uh, feature. So let's get into that now. So here I have a bunch of tracks uh, that I added a while ago. So let's create a new smart playlist by clicking on this plus sign right here, new smart playlist. And this window right here looks very familiar to me because it's very, very similar to the Serato DJ smart playlist or smart crate window. So let's name it. So let's just do test. We'll add a rule and we have all of these different, um, you know, rule selections where we can make a rule off of. So let's say comments because I use tags. Uh, so let's do equal. I like that it has all of these different options, includes, does not equal, not include. I won't get into the, you know, the really fine details of smart playlists because it can get really deep, but let's go say includes and we'll do my tag for all of my dance music, which would be DNC save now let it populate and here we go here's the two songs for that that i have in this very short uh, list of tracks that i have in mixo let's do another one so smart playlist do test two add rule comments let's say um includes all my down south hip-hop which would be the tag atl creating a smart playlist, and here we have it. Super quick, super easy. And what I love about Mixo 2 is when I go into here, I can still edit all of the different tags and all of the different track info with the track info window, much like in Rekordbox where I can edit everything at a glance really quickly. I have that ability here in Mixo and that's something that was missing in Serato and kind of why I started using Rekordbox to edit all my tags in the first place. It's just much faster for me to do it um, in a window like this. So this really takes care of all of the different things that I would do in those three softwares and combines it all into one. Of course with Mixo, you can set your beat grids, you can set your cue points, memory points, loops, etc. 
and now I can do all of it in one software and then just export it to the other softwares. So I'm definitely going to give this new version of Mixo a try, uh, maybe do some test crates, but I could see this really, you know, just shortening down the amount of time it takes me to prep my tracks instead of having to go through multiple steps. Because currently, my current process is bring the tracks into Serato, do the beak grids in there, because I know how to do it in there really quickly, set my cue points in there, then transfer those tracks to Rekordbox, do all my tag editing in there, then reload those tags in Serato, and then I have everything synced. And that process can take a while, and just being able to do it all in one software could really shorten that process, and especially with the mobile app and being able to edit things on the fly. And when I'm not by my computer, if I can think of different songs that I want to try out and test, I can do that just on my phone without needing my computer, which is super crazy and a feature that I really enjoy. And being able to have that in both softwares is pretty tight. So I'll be able to do all of that in Mixo and I'm going to give it a try. Uh, definitely check out Mixo. I believe they have a free trial. Uh, so if you're interested and you do DJ on multiple platforms, it's worth giving a try, especially if you're already using something like uh, Lexicon or DJ Conversion Utility. Why not take advantage of that free trial? This is a pretty fleshed out software now, and I'm excited to see if this could be my new workflow because it could save me a ton of time. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, please be sure to click on one of the videos right here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.